Okay, Rick, as I was saying, obviously, Laramie Tunsil, very confident in himself as a football player, and the Dolphins uh, showing confidence in him. Certainly, look, I've been around this team a long time, covered just about every draft since 1988, and this by far is the strangest set of circumstances we have ever seen. There's so many elements here, the social media drama that we saw unfold, and Laramie Tunsil sitting there wondering if and when he was going to be drafted. Uh, and then today, the first time the Dolphins came out, Tunsil was a no show and the team explaining that he had uh, an allergic reaction but obviously he is over that and the Dolphins say they are over all the drama too so let's press the reset button for just a minute and take you back to last night when this whole drama began with your career after this is really what can Laramie Tonto's dream night turned upside down in Chicago with two acts of social media sabotage <laughs> This video on his Twitter account showed Tunsil choking on marijuana smoke with a bong connected to a gas mask. Then on Instagram, old Tunsil text messages had him improperly asking a coach at Ole Miss for money to help pay his mom's electric bill. Like I said, I made a mistake of that happening. It happened. So, was it a change between you and your coach money? I have to say, yeah. Suddenly, Tunsil's stock as a top five pick plummeted, costing him millions of dollars in signing bonus money until the Dolphins stepped in. With the 13th pick in the 2016 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Laramie Tunsil. Dolphin GM Chris Greer promptly defended the team's decision to draft a 300-pound offensive lineman. You know, he's a smart kid. He's very football intelligent. Uh, we talked to the coaches and the staff there, and when you go watch this guy practice and play, he loves ball. Tunsil himself claimed his account was hacked. Suspicion was pointed at his stepfather, who Tunsil accused of being physically abusive to his mom. Today, the stepdad, who has sued Tunsil, denied being responsible for the player's social media nightmare. Despite the drama, Tunsil says the Dolphins have nothing to worry about. Man, don't question my career, man. You can't judge a book by its cover. Like, you can't judge a book by its cover, man. I'm a good person. I'm a laid-back guy, man. I don't do much, man. Tunsil was suspended seven games last year for accepting impermissible benefits. It's a litany of red flags, but even the NFL commissioner weighed in on the Dolphins' big risk. Sometimes they take risk. Uh, sometimes they, they do the right things, and sometimes they don't, and we'll see. Uh, hopefully, he's going to turn out to be a great young player. Well, Dolphin head coach Adam Gase moments ago said in football terms, picking Laramie Tunsil was a no-brainer, but make no mistake about it. This, of course, the first big decision that Gase has been part of as he is now part of the Dolphin hierarchy, and so all eyes are going to be on him and Tunsil to see if this whole thing works out. Certainly a very strange beginning, but to put this in a bit of context, we have seen this kind of dynamic before. If you go back to when Warren Sapp was drafted, he dropped a 12th, and right now, He's in the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame, so the Dolphins hope they get the same kind of luck with Laramie Tunzel. All right, Jim, thank you so much. And Jim and the entire CBS4 Sports team will wrap up Laramie Tunzel's selection, as well as what happens tonight and tomorrow on Fins on the Clock, tomorrow night at 7.30, only right here on CBS4.